Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. I'm Valerie Pritchett. A tentative agreement between freight rail companies and the union representing its workers. This is a very big deal. A strike would have been very bad for the economy. As senior investigator Kendra Nichols reports now, the deal is now headed to union members for a vote. Economists say the deal averted a strike that could have cost the nation's economy $2 billion a day. This As impacts a approximately 60,000 union railroad employees and includes a 24% wage increase during a five-year period from 2020 through 2024. It also grants workers the ability to take unpaid time off for medical and preventative care without penalty, a key sticking point of the negotiations. Today, President Biden thanking negotiators, saying the tentative deal is a big win for America. This is a win for tens of thousands of rail workers and for their dignity and the dignity of their work. It's a recognition of that. Every good that you need seems to end up on a rail getting delivered to where it needs to go. Amtrak, which canceled some trains ahead of the potential strike, is now quickly working to restore those trains and said it is reaching out to impacted customers. The deal now goes to union members for a vote. With the ABC 27 investigators, I'm Kendra Nichols.